Hello guys, this is Deepika from mytutorialrack.com. In this tutorial, we will go ahead and talk about Git. Now, what is this Git? Git is nothing but it's a version control system. Now, what do you mean by a version control system? For example, let's say you are storing a particular file. I have a file and I'm going to go ahead and write something in that file. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and save this file. So let's go ahead and save it on the desktop. I'm going to go ahead and save it as 1.txt file. Now what happens is once I've saved this file on the desktop, let's say I, oh, I wanted to capitalize this high and uh, I wanted to put a question mark. So I wanted to keep the changes that I'm doing to this particular file. So what will I do is I'll go ahead and save this file as another version and kind of rename it as 2.txt. So later on when I come back to the file and I have said okay I need to enter this high and I need to put a comma after that and I put the how are you in the next line and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, capitalize this H as well. So now I wanted to go ahead and track this change also. So what you're going to do is you're going to rename or you're going to save another file and now you're going to you will call it as 3.txt. Now the problem with this is you're tracking your changes and that's what was happening in the earlier times as well. People were tracking the changes. What they were doing was they were copying the entire project every time they made a change and then they were re they were giving that file a new name. So that was a very horrible way of tracking the changes in your file because you're kind of copying it every time and now you have a three versions of that same file with the different changes available. So what this Git does is Git is a version control system. It tracks the changes or it manages the changes to your files. It sees what changes you made or whom, whoever made it and what kind of changes they made to the file. So it keeps track of everything and it's very easy and a very powerful way to keep track of your files. Now where this Git is being used, Git is very popular when you're dealing with source code because in a team there will be a lot of developers working uh, on, a, on a project and they will they will be making changes to certain files. So this Git is very useful when you're managing the source code so you can keep track of what changes what changes you made in this release and what changes you made in the other release and who made what kind of changes which files got changed so this git is very powerful when you're dealing with source code changes now what is the types of the version control system so they just did not thought of git one day and git evolved no it was they were been practicing different systems before they got introduced to git so we have version control system is divided into two types one is called as the centralized VCS, means the centralized version control system. And the other one is called as the distributed version control system. Let's talk about each of these version control system. So in the centralized version control system, you're having a central server where you're going to store all your project files or all your code source code. So there's only going to be a central machine where you're going to have each and every bit of code will be present on that central server. So just like in this example, example here you can see that I have one particular repository where I have my source code present and all the users are kind of accessing directly from the source code and they're making the changes over the internet over the net or the, over the network so what kind of problems that get um, that associated with the central ver version control is if let's say that central server got corrupted for some other some reason or got crashed how the other people are going to coordinate how they're going to manage their source code and there is no backup of that central server present so if that got crashed or something happened or got corrupted the whole of your entire history of your project will get corrupted so there are a lot of issues with this centralized vcs because you're talking of the internet uh, over the network it's very slow second thing is you are accessing a central server where you're storing all your files if something happens to the central server everything will get lost so then they thought of this another version control system and one of the major problem with the centralized version control system is if you have multiple users working on the same file at the same time how which whose changes will get into uh, will get accepted if you're working on the same project and you made a change to a sim same file and you made a similar changes how will we know that whose changes should get accepted 
so you somebody needs to manually sit there and merge those changes so that's a very big problem because let's say if you are working on a project and every day you need to go ahead and make sure who made some changes i have to merge it so instead other than working on your development you're probably were just working on merging the code and everything so there are a lot of problems associated with centralized version control system so then they thought of this new version control system which is also called as the distributed version control system which is way way more powerful than the centralized version control system and git is also a distributed version control system so what is this distributed version control system in the distributed version control system every developer will get its own copy of the entire project so as you can see in this diagram here there is not just one copy of the repository every user has its own copy of his project or source code on his local machine so he's just working off of the local he's working in isolation he has the entire project on its own copy on its development box he does not have to talk over the internet so because of these there are a lot more benefits or advantages of using a distributed version control system over a centralized version control system one of the most important uh, i have listed down here so everyone every everyone in the team can work at its own pace they can just uh, store the updates locally they can keep changing it and once they are ready and fully tested they can always go ahead and check in their changes and uh, development will be very faster because you're not doing or making changes in a central machine you're just doing it on your box so you're not talking over the internet or over the network so that's why your the development will be very faster now because every developer has a complete copy of the projects on its local machine so the server crashing or corrupted repository the chances of the data loss is very very less as compared to the centralized version control system so i'll give you a quick recap of what git is git is basically a tool to manage your changes to the files now not not only just the source code but it can manage the changes to your text file to an html file whatever the source code or you wanted to keep track of then the git is very powerful in that it not only keep track of what changes you made it also keeps tracks of who made the changes and if you want to revert back or if you want to go back to your previous changes you can always do that using git so in the next tutorial i will go ahead and install git on a windows machine i will request you to follow the similar steps along with me so you will have git ready when we are moving to the next tutorials so thank you and i will see you in the next tutorial